Sony Bravia 2021. It's the A8J in a 65 inch model. I will get the dimensions again and timestamp them at some point in the description. Measure what I can. Top of the box, see one of the feet, instruction book, remote pack, quick setup guide poking out, and the other foot there. Layer the two feet. Quick setup guide, instruction book, and remote pack. Poly out the top. So the box does lift off, I just like to get the heavy stuff out first. You just see the screen poking out there, I'll just take the cover down, we'll have a closer look quickly. That's it. Uh, just a quick look from the top as well there. Moving on to the instruction book and remote pack. We've got a UK IEC mains or kettle lead. See the end of that. Remote control, that's Sony's premium one. We will get a close up of that as well in a moment. And I'm not going to get the instruction book out, but an instruction book in several different languages and AAA batteries. Then we've got the quick setup guide. Get a close up of that if we can. Okay, so if we look at the quick setup guide, it shows us there lifting the box off. We didn't have those tabs, we just got like pallet straps. Don't squeeze the screen, you can break them. Especially on the LCD muzzles, they're quite fragile. Some of the contents there. And then we've got two different stand configurations or three different stand configurations. I'm gonna go for the narrow one because it's in a shop, so it should be more appealing to people. Shows us there on the legs, we can switch them around. So we'll get the legs out in a moment, but we can switch the tops of the legs around, flip them around, so these will be facing inwards. So we can put it on a narrower base. Config there for a sound bar as well, which I'm not doing. We're gonna go for the second option down. Okay, so some more stuff there about getting somebody to help you lift it, separating the polystyrene from the base, lifting the TV up so you can insert those legs one end at a time and then moving the polystyrene out of the way. Onto that page, list of the inputs and what goes in them and the mains with that retaining wire which is the instruction book there. Okay, so we've got that retaining wire for the main lead. Uh, batteries in the remote, turning it on. Close up of the remote there. We can see we've got the power on off button at the top. I think that's actually the microphone, that part. Channel numbers, information, then teletext. But I understand on these, for the teletext to work in the UK, it needs to be connected to the internet as well. Okay, but then YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and Disney Plus quick access buttons. The rest of the apps, sign into your Google account or create a Google account and you can go to their app store. Colored buttons that apply to apps or different services and features. Guide button, record list if we've recorded to a hard drive. Quick access to the settings, input button, voice command button. Cursors left, right, up and down and enter back button that is the home menu there TV takes you straight back to TV volume up and down channels up and down toggles you between two channels that you've been watching there and then the mute button audio a few different audio types subtitles there with the tiny dots help button rewind play fast forward and pause record so that can apply to different apps or hard drive usage media playback and exit right at the bottom. Flip it over, back pushes off. Treble A batteries in there. Cool. 
These are the supplied feet or stand for the TV. So I'm just going to unwrap them quickly and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so it's kind of like a um, graphite metal finish. And it's got a rubber coating on the sides of them that extends to underneath. So you've got that grippy rubber surface there, which also shouldn't scratch the surface it's on. And we can see here these flat portions with the tabs facing inwards, they're going to be slotting up into the TV. So these are already sort of configured for the wide sort of setup. And I'm going to take these two screws out here if they show up. So there's two screws on each. Take these parts off, flip them round with each other and I should be able to get the legs then facing inwards just so it'll go on a narrower base and then we'll get the dimensions on the narrow configuration. So I'll fast forward while I do this so it's not too boring. Okay. So the screws are now out, so these parts should come off. That one I want on that leg. That one's going to go on that leg. So I'm just looking, so I think it's going to go there. So that will become that side of the TV. This one here will become that side. So I can wind the screws back in. Those legs will be now facing inwards. So I'll just fast forward again while I wind these two screws in. Okay, so that is the completed configuration. These tabs face towards the center of the TV with a flat portion forwards, legs towards the center, so it should be able to sit on a narrower base. I'm gonna attempt to put the feet in how it showed uh, on the quick setup guide, which showed dismantling the cardboard around and dropping it down. There's little tabs on the cardboard we can just flip out from the polystyrene. Obviously not going to work with a bag on it though, I didn't mention that. I'm just going to lift it out of one end first. I did say to remove the centre part. Okay, so I've just lifted it one side to get the centre part and the polystyrene out. Same for this side, just to remove that bag. Obviously, I'm on my own, so I'm having to be careful that I don't tip it over. Okay, not actually sure where the feet insert. It's somewhere in the polystyrene, so we're gonna to have to lift one side, feel for where the foot is, and then insert that foot. So I'll have one ready the front each way of the TV. So I'm going to start with this side and if this goes wrong it's going to be expensive for me. That's one foot in. Onto this side, so I'm going to use up my actual face as soon as I don't have a friend with me. Using my face to stop it tipping forwards if necessary. Again, into there. I can feel where the foot inserts and it just pushes up. It says pushes up. There we go. Definitely not the easiest thing to do on your own. A bit dodgy really. Okay, so I've just zoomed closer in on this. We'll get a look at the back of the TV at the moment and then we'll go on to the dimensions as well. Quick close-up of the connections at the bottom. We've got antenna in, twin sat, 
for watch and record, wired internet, LAN input, digital optical audio out, HDMI 2, 3 and 4, 3 and 4 marked at 4K, 120Hz, number 3 is also enhanced audio return channel, and then we've got that USB there at 5 volt, 900 milliamp. So that's the one indicated for your portable hard drive if you're using it for recording. Moving round to the side inputs, we've got the CI card slot reader there. AV in also works as a center speaker input. So again, if we've got a 5.1 sound system, we can use the TV itself as a center speaker by using that input there. Headphone out or analog audio. USBs one and two at half an amp each and HDMI one as a side input. Looking at the opposite side of the TV to the connections, our IEC mains lead inserts in there. So it just pushes up. And then we can also put that retaining sort of reusable tie wrap in there just to stop the cable being pulled out or breaking the board on the TV. I mentioned time, I'll get the pedestal or stand width first because that's probably one of the most critical parts. On this narrow configuration, I've got it at 69 centimeters or 27 and a quarter inch. The depth of the pedestal or stand, I've got it at 33 centimeters or 13 inch from whatever it stood on to the bottom of the TV, maybe two centimeters, three quarter inches. At the thickest part of this TV, it's about 53 millimeters thick. I'll get the width of it anyway, even though most 65s are pretty similar. That is 144 and a half centimeters or 57 inches wide. We can just see from the bottom of the TV to the first visa hole, if it's any interest to anyone, it's approximately 120 millimetres. And distance between them is 300 by 300 mil square. Pretty sure they're M6 bolts, but I'll just take one out to double check. Yep, and we've got M6 bolts in there. I think they're about 10 mil. I've now got it on a stand of wide in aerial, internet and mains. I'm just going to take the gump off the front and then I'm going to give it a quick wipe as well because it is a bit dusty. And then we'll come back, turn it on. Okay, so English. All the way down to UK, I guess. If you're at home, set up your Google TV. If you don't have an account, quickly create one on your laptop, then log in. I'm just going basic TV because it's in a showroom. Connected using Ethernet. That's my wide internet. Accept. Uh, I'm going to send diagnostic data. So I'm just using location services. So start, you have to scroll down here and agree to the parts we wish. So Sony Smart TV services and maybe program recommendations that will do for myself. So agree to that, parental lock. Obviously, whatever HDMI devices you've got, switch them on, you can set them up and you can use your way, well, whichever way you receive channels. So whether it's Sky, Virgin Media or BT in this country, I've just used the Aerial myself. So I'm just going to tune in. While it scans for channels, I'll pause and come back to the video. Okay, so it's finished its tuning. Now asking me what region uh, it's not really your preferred region, it's where your aerial is pointing. Mine is pointing to Yorkshire. 
and leads. Scan completed, channels found 166 and next. So that is it for me for now. Obviously if you had satellite you'd go across to Freesat etc or cable. Next. Okay, so you can set your devices, HDMI devices, games consoles etc. I'll say connect later because I'm not going to connect any. Also for the acoustics we're on a tabletop stand. If you're on a wall mount, select wall mount. So next is the acoustic auto calibration. So we have to allow the microphone on the remote to record audio. Okay, so it's telling you to sit with your, mic your remote control at your sort of chest level where you normally sit. You can send some tones out from the TV and measure them back to the microphone on the remote control. Start. That's that done. Next. Okay, I'm not going to register. No. Apple AirPlay and HomeKit, so it will connect with your Apple devices there. Next. Don't want Samba Interactive myself, but you may do using it at home. And we'll say complete. That is the home screen as we see it. Obviously, if you sign into your Google account for your Google TV, go down there, there are more apps available. Some aren't out yet, such as BBC iPlayer, ITV and all four. I think they're still waiting on licensing. I'm gonna go straight to TV. We'll have a look at the picture on a Freeview HD feed. Still insists the Russians were at fault. You were here on so I'm gonna turn the sound up just so we can hear what it's like. For speech. And he's got the Prime Minister's backing. We don't recognise uh, the Russian annexation of, of Crimea. The, it was illegal. Uh, these are Ukrainian waters and uh, it was entirely, entirely right to, to use them for, to go from A to B. The crew of HMS Defender, though, were clearly trained and ready for whatever happened. I would say it's unusual, but it's not surprising. Um, we've trained for that kind of range before. Um, only a couple of weeks ago, we were doing this kind of manoeuvre. They're trying to push their gains out here in the Black Sea. A major rescue operation is underway in Miami, Florida, after an apartment block partially collapsed. It's not clear how many people were in the 12-storey building when it came down near Miami Beach in the early hours of the morning. Well, Will Grant is there for us now, and will almost 100 people still missing? I uh, haven't got any built-in retail demos as yet because we have to upload them via USB stick I believe. So I'm going to go to the home menu, onto YouTube and get some of my own Sony 4K HDR demos I've uploaded.
ball from that moment on. It's a match who gets great ball and he directed it to the correct corner. And those two work it again. Four on three here for Spurs. Son, well laid off and Peter makes a fine save. He's guided in by Eric Lamella. Three power tonight on the first attempt. But Lamella is there to beat Buffon. Spurs have been the better team, and on the half hour, they lead Juventus. The fans are on the edge of the penalty area. We play on. I believe that was. And uh, Pjanic, Iguain, a well worked control. Iguain, good answer. On now onto the home so we'll just have a quick look at the home there we've got TV back to TV program guide source or inputs dashboard which takes you to your settings etc there we go so we've got settings input picture and so on okay, back again down to there we've got some other shortcuts we've got Netflix Prime YouTube and Disney although we do have the buttons to take us straight to that Sony probably a bonus offer Recorded title list, probably your notifications, timers and clock, media player, free insert USBs, or we have NAS drives, etc. Music, help, TV control with smart speakers, so connect your smart speakers around your house with your TV, or we've got internet browser there as well. We can use a Bluetooth wireless keyboard, probably just a cheap one off Amazon or eBay to connect to it. Okay, like I say, Set up Google TV and you get your other apps as well. Also, you'll get full use of the voice command button if you're connected to it. Quibble with the, with the science side of that. I mean, okay, so back to normal TV. And the, the I think we've got Zoom exactly. feeds coming up there in the background. So on that note, I think we should call it a day. We'll never be Goodbye. in a situation where we, we don't. And therefore.